Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Everybody that don't know, let them know like who you are and where you from. You know, it's Prime Nasty. Uh, I'm from fucking Pasadena. I'm saying people call me Prime, Prime Time, Prime Time, or No Time. It's what it is. Feel me? Right, is that like a little backstory on how the name came about? Yeah. Uh, uh, me and my brothers came with this shit. My brothers came with that shit. Really, I was younger than them, but uh. It's an acronym like P R I M E, like for prime people realize I'm me. So it's just like, like staying, staying, staying true to yourself, like realizing who you are. You know what I'm saying? I took it a different course, but it's all good. Yeah, prime. Wouldn't, wouldn't be prime without uh, Jody Breeze, rest in peace, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, so. How early did music start for you, or what were you into, like at a young age? I know you were talking about earlier that you skateboarded and shit. Yeah. How early did you start that? Was it skateboarding? Yeah. Uh, I started skateboarding real late, like, uh, like fucking, I was like 15. Skateboarding, I was like 15. 14 going on at 15, something like that. But, like, music, like, me and my brother Dez was, uh, was doing his music shit, like, not like really. I mean, my, my brother, uh, my dad was doing this shit, uh, Jody Breeze, you know what I'm saying? He was doing that shit, having shows or whatever. Uh, he had a group of, like, some of my uncles and his homies and shit like that. So, like, we was basically, like, looking up to them, you know what I'm saying? It was called, like, Third World Grind. So, like, we, we seen them, you know what I'm saying? We was writing music. I'm, like, fucking, I'm, like, fifth grade, too. It's, like, writing music and shit. I never took it serious like that, but... Like, me and my brother was just, like, rhyming to each other and shit like that. Because we seen our dad doing it, so it was tight. We, like, fucking, like, walk around the couches with a big cigar in our hands. Like, fucking, like, listening to music videos. Acting hard and shit. You know what I mean? yeah. Some little kid shit, huh? But that's how it started, though. Hell yeah. Just a little more, like, Pasadena. I think you might be, like, one of the first, if not one, like, the first that we interviewed that, you know, say Pasadena usually is like different neighborhoods of different sizes of and shit like that. So yeah. just to talk a little bit more about Pasadena and like the role it played it for you, even like school, just friends early on and shit like that. Yeah, yeah man, Pasadena is crazy. It's, it's I mean, it's not that big. It's all right for, for what it is, you know, since a lot of Mexicans, I grew up around a lot of Mexicans and white people. I went to school, uh, Deer Park, you know what I'm saying? I, I got like a lot of homies over there in the Pasadena area that make music as well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not many people though, like it's not as much as you think, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's not many people that's doing that shit over there, so, you know what I'm saying? We all we got, I'm just trying to make a name for us out there in Pasadena, put Pasadena on the map, Southeast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, real shit. So like growing up, Guess skateboarding, being around music, what what like some musical influences aside from like you said your dad, like shit that you was listening to. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I grew up on like fucking uh, Scoot Out Click, you know what I'm saying? As you see, all them niggas, uh, uh, Big Hog, Fat Pat, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what my dad fucked with, you know what I'm saying? But then I got on some like uh. My mom was like listen to like a, she would listen to a bunch of New York music, uh, like East Coast music, like Biggie and then like the shit with like him and Faith Evans and and uh, uh, Lauren Hill, uh, Erica Badu. So she's from Dallas, you know. Shout out Dallas, you feel me? Like she cold for that shit, but like uh, on that East Coast vibe type shit, I, that shit stuck with me hard. So I started making music like that, like the rhythm and everything. I studied them niggas like. Big L, uh, Buster Rhymes, go you know, Helter Skelter, uh, Buckshot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Sean Price, Original Gun Clappers, uh, what else? Uh, uh, Craig Mack, fucking Jay Z, Nas, uh, and then later like Joey Badass, and then 
Yeah, them Griselda niggas are crazy. Yeah. And all the niggas from the East Coast, yeah. I get inspiration from them, like from the South to the East. Uh, yeah, and just uh, like your approach with music, or even like was your pops like on the same type of shit when it was to the music, or like has it always been like the boom bap, like you know, more yeah. New York type flow for you? Yeah, yeah, really for me, like most of the time, like honestly, like, uh, like, I mean, shit, we were talking about like in the 2000s and shit, yeah. ain't gonna lie, so the beats wasn't all that like super crazy back then, but, uh, uh, like the boom bap was still like around type shit, you know what I'm saying? But there was on some like, like hardcore, like, like H Town shit, like them niggas was like to die for, like H Town, like, I mean, that's where I grew up, but like that, that East Coast feel like stuck with me, that boom bap shit. I just took another turn. Yeah. Which, uh, if you had to choose, like, this is our opinion based, but like, those two. Like the H Town and the East Coast are like two heavily influ heavy influences in music culture. Which do you like being a part of both lanes? Which do you feel like pulls more from each culture? Like, is there more H Town and East Coast music than it is East Coast and H Town? If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, shit. I mean, that amount of music from the South Side and then the East Coast shit. It's, it's a. It's all the same. You know what I'm saying? It's a. Uh, like it's a the same amount of, of 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 music, but what I pull from the most is uh the the East Coast. I pull from the East Coast a lot more. Like um, um, it's really like more of my style. So I was I went to New York recently. I felt like I was at home. Ain't gonna lie, it's crazy. They show a bunch of love out there. I mean, I mean I love Houston for sure, but. They be tripping out, especially when they hear me like my music or when I talk or whatever. Uh, they don't even think I'm from here or whatever, which I, I get. But uh, the way my music, they be like hating, like oh yo, like you ain't from Houston, like you know what I'm saying. They ain't trying to hear that shit, or whatever. So but it's all good. I go to uh, New York and they fuck my shit hard. I mean, obviously, but I mean. I, I, I pull towards like more of the East Coast side. That shit's live. That's more of my style, you know what I'm saying? Baggy clothes. I don't got Tim's. Baggy clothes. You know what I'm saying? Bucket hats and all of that shit. Yeah, that's my style. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like the boom bap culture uh, go kind of like hand in hand, even with like, you know, skateboarding, which you already said, you know, even like soundtracks or scoring for film and shit like that. It usually like on some like East Coast vibe, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So. In terms of that, like, how's that been, like, with the skateboarding and shit, like, getting your music off, like, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's see, the skateboarding, and, the skateboarding and, and, like, the music go hand in hand. It's crazy. It's like, everybody be telling me, like, you know what I'm saying, like, all these students, this, this, whatever, but, I mean, like, it's, like, no need for that. Like, it goes hand in hand already, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's skateboarders everywhere around the world, but, like, when it comes to, like, skateboarding and music, that shit, it just intertwines. Like, I mean, by itself, you know what I'm saying? Skateboarding can't come without music. Music can't come without skateboarding. And that's just my perspective of it, you feel me?